Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at this camera. I rushed into emergency uh, surgery. This is a Canon T70. Very popular cameras in their day. And uh, it has rather a serious issue. It looks pretty, uh, pretty okay. Until we look at this uh, battery compartment. And there you can see why I keep telling people when you're not using your camera for a period of time take the batteries out you can see that these batteries are well and truly uh, cooked I don't even think they're going to come out but is it possible to try and save this camera I wonder so let's have a dig about see what is in here obviously at the moment it does not work So, we've got to try and get these out and then see what the damage that it's done internally, if they've leaked internally or not. And, uh, you can see this stuff will scrape off. The casings are a bit ruined as well. <coughs> Such a shame. It's a tragic waste. You can see it's all turned to powder. It's generally not very nice. You can see the outer casings even. They're probably expanded. Uh, is this camera savable or is it just going to be for parts? What a shame. Okay. Now to get most of it off, we could do with our cardboard frame to hold the camera up upside down. I guess this one's going to be a uh, a video in part. Swap that in there. Actually, see what we're doing. Top of the exposure on this thing. All over the place. Right, a good old friend cotton buds is going to be needed. Ideally, you'd use white vinegar for this. Um, Vinegar is acidic, battery contents tend to be alkaline, so the hope is that by putting something that's alkaline, uh, acidic on there, that's going to free up. Clean off most of this gunk. Nasty. The same sort of vinegar you put on your chips. I've used white vinegar. This is all I've got at the moment is malted vinegar. So you see the way it foams. Is the acidity of the vinegar reacting with the alkalinity of the the battery content? But yeah, very important if you're going to store a camera without using it for a while. Take your batteries out, peoples, please. I dare say the guys who watch this channel, or the people that watch this channel, sorry, should uh, will probably know this. It's like, uh, yeah, just uh, take your batteries out. Doesn't matter what batteries they are, these are obviously AA batteries that are in here. But any sort of battery, take it out of the camera if you plan on storing it. 
And these batteries have got a hole in the top of them, but I would guess that they're probably stuck right the way in there. Thumbs up. You could put gloves on if you wanted to. Um, don't really. trying to do is, is to get the, uh, the vinegar to soak down the sides of the batteries to see if we can uh, do something to extricate them from the camera failing that it's going to be a case of trying to destroy the batteries a bit at a time and get them out even that may not work as bad but then uh, they're not gonna move particularly easy I don't think concerned about the vinegar damaging the interior of the camera because it's basically scrap anyway isn't it so and I want the batteries to come out freely of their own will I don't really want to pull them out in case I do more damage to them the internal workings of the the camera. This may not work. This is just my attempt at uh, trying to save the camera from becoming a part camera because the rest of it doesn't look too bad. Just these are obviously welded in. Right. Okay, welcome back off camera. I've done some work. Um, I've basically stripped the camera down. Um, I've taken the base plate off. Uh, this is the bottom of the camera. This still needs to be uh, cleaned up down here. This is the bottom of the battery compartment. And there's just a collection of screws along the bottom and there is one inside the battery compartment. That one there that you take off. Uh, unscrewing some of the screws on the front and then the front comes off quite easy there's just one there and this bit just pulls out and I've taken the back off it was protecting the shutter but I had to get it out of the way these backs are very simple to take off uh, this is going to focus this is a little spring loaded catch on the, on the back quite a common feature this camera's in really nice condition actually um, the shutter isn't too bad, you can see there's a bit of foamy nastiness going on with the shutter there. But it is fairly clean, you can see some screws missing. And if you look at the bumper foam, the bumper foam is very, very good. So it's in quite nice condition, it's such a shame. Somebody left the batteries in it, didn't take the top plate off. So now you can see a naked T70. Right, if you have a squeamish disposition, I'd advise you to look away now because uh, the only way to get the batteries out was to take my soldering iron with a, uh, a rather large sacrificial bit. I can get into the camera picture, there you go. With a rather large bit on it and uh, keep my way through. I don't have a Dremel, a Dremel would have been the better way of doing it. I don't advise doing this yourself. But this is how I did it. Um, I melted all this plastic away 
and all this plastic away to find out how far up the corrosion had gone and luckily the corrosion, the camera must have been stored like that, the corrosion was all at the bottom at the top, although you can't see it, if I get the torch maybe that would help At the top, um, you can see the contacts are still fairly clean. They can do with a little clean up, but there's certainly nothing like it was at the bottom. And you can see it's all it all drained down to the bottom of it. So then with the help of some uh, rather large tools, again, I don't recommend doing this. The fumes and that are not very nice. And uh, yeah, with a very large spanner, surprisingly useful, managed to lever one out. And there's the battery. I don't advise heating batteries, it's not a good idea. Don't do this at home, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, I'm an idiot. I just don't like giving up on a camera because some prep decided to leave the batteries in it when they stored it away. And there's the other battery I managed to leave her out. You'll see that I've mullered it totally, but it was a mullered battery anyway. So I got those batteries out. So the question is, does it work? Can it go back together? So here's some new batteries. And I can't remember which way these go in, so I'll have to try it one way and then the other. So I also noticed when I took it apart that both batteries were in that way around. Well, I can't see why, because they're never going to work like that. It needs to be one in one way and one in the other. And then my usual trick is a bit of tin foil on the bottom and oh, push very hard. I don't think that's the right way round. Should make a note of that which way round they're supposed to go. And push very hard. Oh, still nothing. That's going on. Not ideal to use a Mr. Kipling's cake thing, but whatever's at hand. It's really just to short those out to replace what the bottom part of it does. Oh. It's turned on. You've got to push on these pretty hard. Oh. Actually got this working before I started taping, shouldn't I? You know me and batteries and film. It never goes well. It's a bit of a juggling act to try and hold everything together. Oh, there we go. I was trying to load it. Oh, there we go. Oop. So battery check. Okay, see. It's got life in it. There's the battery check. Don't know if it'll let me take a picture. Probably not because it says there's no film in it. So. But yeah, there is life in it. The LCD doesn't look too bad. So the next thing is obviously to reassemble. Let's have a test film in there and. Uh, See what happens, but yeah, there's definitely life in it. There we go. So there's definitely life in it, but as you can see, the shutter's going to need cleaning. It's going to have one of them squeaky shutter problems. Common with this series of cameras, that shutter blade doesn't look too clever either. So yeah, still more work to do, but yeah. At least it's not for parts anymore, we can uh, hopefully get some use out of it. There you go, that's today's film. Like I said, if you're squeamish, don't look. Not the cleanest of jobs, I've got to admit. But that part there is going to be covered. Um, it's got this sort of flexi grip. That uh, fits over, so you're not actually going to see the butchery underneath. I will smooth it off a little bit more and tidy it up. 
make it look a bit more presentable but you know this cover this cover goes over there and hides the damage it's not a camera for selling on or anything it's just a camera for the collection so hopefully by the time I finish with it it'll, it'll look just like a normal T70 but it'll be a, a worker there you go there's today's exploits for you hope you enjoyed like I say don't try any of this at home it's uh, use a Dremel or something but um, I like the T70 cameras and I wasn't going to let this one die because it looks as though it was in quite good condition apart from the usual shutter problems but yeah we can deal with that and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching comment share subscribe all that usual sort of stuff and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.